Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pace Setters Online Business Expo and today we are we have with us DG Shop Media and DG Shops are you there DG Shop Yeah I'm right here with you yes. thank Can you, you for having me Can you please introduce yourself to everyone please Right um I'm Wale Fawokon I'm the CEO of uh, DG Shop Media and the digital media started uh, a couple of years ago, going to about a decade now. So um, it's been a pretty while. Did you show? Can you stop? This. Can we start again? For Instagram. Right. Okay. For Instagram. Are you ready? Are we ready to see your invite? Are you ready now? So I'm waiting Since you're not you're not online yet. Are you online? Yes, I am. I am online. So I'm yet to see. You. Yeah, go to go to our page on Instagram. I can't see you online again. Yeah, it's live now. Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to another to another episode of Pace Setters Online Business Expo. And today we have with us DG Shop Media from the name DG Shop Media. DG Shop, can you please introduce yourself to our viewers, please? Right. Um, thank you for having me. My name is Wale Fawokon. I'm the CEO of DG Shop Media. Um, yeah, connect to your Instagram, please. Right, okay. Trying to say. Right, okay. Yeah. Possibly. Okay, right. Yeah, so there you are. I'll start all over again. Uh, my name is Wally Falk. From, yeah, from Digisort Media. So, yeah. Um, uh, Digisort Media is actually based in, um, we do photography and video production. You know, we've got. Um, almost a decade experience in this uh, business. So it's been a while that we've been into it. And we actually, the major um, aspect of photography that we delve into is um, people, actually. So we do weddings, we capture uh, special moments of people, and we also do uh, product photography as well, fashion. You know, anything people, that's people connected. That's what we do. I do know that. Um, so, and we also. Okay, go on, go on. And we also do um, video productions as well. And um, so for events, for weddings, and due to the pandemic right now, we recently started doing um, professional live streaming for events. Yeah. So so that you you can still carry your friends and families along even though they cannot be physically present at your uh, parties and special moments you can still bring them out along and live so we do you know switching of different camera angles professionally so it's just going to look like they are there present with you yeah so what what's your style of photography because i know photography has got different styles what style of photography are you focused on well well basically myself and my team uh, what we do is we approach um your special moments with creating natural styles you know okay. photography things as they come we do less of poses you know, we capture your special moments, you know, we see the emotions right in your faces, you know, we catch you unawares, you know, why you are still in the action. So those are the kind of belief that we understand that pictures you carry, it should tell a story about what the moment is. So if even if you are looking at the pictures 10, 20, 30 years to come, you'll be able to understand that, oh, it will take you down the memory lane rather than just styling you 
or oh, look this way, do like that. Do you get what I mean? So, yeah. though we do pilot as well, but majorly we like to capture moments as they, they come. Good. So, <clears throat> can you tell us what's the vision behind DG Short Media? Because I'm sure there must, have some, there must have been something you thought of. Why did you go into photography? Why exactly? Right. Okay. Um, going into photography, uh, actually, I have this passion for photography, you know, but I never thought of going into it professionally. But what actually pushed me into going into it professionally was the, when I had my wedding, we contracted it out to um, a professional to come and do our photos and videos for us, you know. So then he gave us the soft copy of uh, the, the media. So, but unfortunately, yeah. we moved out during that time, um, and um, we, one way or the other, we lost the CD. Oh. So then later on, we went to him. Okay, can we have another one, another like copy. a copy of yeah. it? You know, then we pay for it, and he never had the copy. Ow. So that was so all painful. that beautiful day gone just like that. Ex exactly, exactly. Wow. So we had to be running to friends who has got uh -huh. um, pictures taken on their phones and stuff to you know. And back then, phones, phone cameras were not that good. Yeah. So you you can imagine we just had to compile whatever we, we were able to compile, you know, and that's all we had. So that was really, really painful. So then yeah. I was like, okay, this is a big problem. There are lots of people that must have encountered something like this. So then I now, you know, decided that I'm gonna put up something, you know, to make sure we look into that and we solve such problems for people. So we make sure right now, what we do is we make sure we keep your footage and your pictures for a minimum of six years. Wow, with that's us. quite a long time. Yeah, for a minimum of six years. So even if you lose it, you can still come back. So get to it Although it's going to come at, yeah, it's going to come at a, at a fee, at a cost. Yeah, but know. what's money but to get your memories? That is from? better than not having. Yeah, yeah. Ex exactly, exactly. So. That's what pushed me into um, starting this outfit. Yeah, um, I understand you were talking before, you were talking about uh, being creative because it's one of the most important things in choosing a photographer mm -hmm. for your events because sometimes yeah. you don't, you choose venues that are not really good for pictures but you want yes. your photographer to be able to say, oh, this is not a good venue, this is not a good location, can we use this, can we use this backdrop? Can you pose this way? Can you pose that way? Because that's what you hire a professional for, really, to mm -hmm. make sure mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, your pictures come out lovely. And it tells a story that in a couple of years' time, you can look back and say, wow, this was a lovely day. So how do you how do you deal with irate customers? Because I'm sure some, some customers are like, you know, set in their ways. They don't want to, they don't want to listen to professionalism. And they'll just say, no, I want it this way, I want it that way. How do you deal with irate customers? Right. Um, we have different kind of customers that come our way. You know, everyone has got their own uh, mindset, how mm -hmm. they see things, you know. But as uh, professionals, um, photographers are problem solvers. You know, okay. that's if you are a professional photographer, you need to understand that you are a problem solver. So there is a problem, fine. You've, you've seen the problem, then you have to look for a way to solve that problem. So um, coming back to your question, there are so many uh, situations like that that you advise people, let's go through this way, let's follow this route to solve this problem. And they would be like, no, 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 this is how I want it and everything. So in that situation, what I just try to make them understand is, listen, 
if you go your route, this, this, this are what you would possibly encounter and it's going to hurt you. Okay. You know, so I make them realize, fine, if you want to go that route, yeah, if it's okay, if I'm not going to compromise with the ethics, um, the culture of digital media, then fine. I'll go that route with you, but I'll let you understand. This is the situation. These are things and things and things that, are, that might come back to hurt you, you know. But if it is completely out of what digital media stands for, then I'm just going to back out. And my team as well, they understand that as well. So because we don't want to compromise on quality, we don't want to compromise on you know our image. Because when people see it in the end, they'll be like, okay, digital media did this. Yeah. You know, and that that such clients is never gonna say, oh, I forced them to do that. So if it is going to hurt us, hurt our image, yeah. then we're just gonna back out. So what, what are the challenges that you face in this in this in this type of business? In this well, we've faced a whole lot. You know, myself in particular, yeah. you know, I can't, I can't begin to count, honestly, <laughs> a whole lot of situations, you know, that have been through, you know, people looking down, especially Nigerians, we Nigerians, you see, um, a lot of Nigerians are still like 20 years behind yeah. when it comes to photography. I get you know, what you mean. So, you know, so the kind of mentality where they see someone, so what do you do? A photographer. Mm. Uh, so what kind of job is that? <laughs> the kind of look that they have in their face, not like a photographer oh and everything, you know, and <laughs> there was a party I attended, yeah. you know, as a photographer, I was at the party, then um, I took pictures, meant strictly on the instructions of the couple they don't want their pictures out at all you know not even of their friends and everything so that was the understanding between us before getting on the job so then th there was this um, girl she came around she was like okay and i take pictures of my friend of course you can I took the picture. How can we have the pictures? I'm like, no, sorry, you need to speak to the, um, the couple. couple. Yeah. Because so, I don't have the right to share the pictures with anyone. Mm -hmm. And she was like, even when the couple are not um, in the pictures, I said, yes, that was the instruction. Then she went, you know, hell went loose that day. She started really? abusing me, saying all sorts of things. And she now went, I don't blame you. That's the uh, most of you guys are not educated. You don't even oh my understand God. what you're doing and everything. You know, she was saying all sorts. I just walked away because exchanging words with her. Yeah, that's because you know, you're just doing a job. So you can't. yeah, exactly. So it's not worth it. So I yeah. just walked away and everything. And that shows what people think when they see you and uh, you're a photographer. They'll be like, oh, it's, it's uneducated. It's, it's, yeah, it's just that. a low life. Doing. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. then something happened. Um, I think her friend came in. That one knows me really well. And she came to say hello to me. We talked, we chatted and everything. Then she went back to her. And she was now asking her friend. Uh, do you know that photographer? I say, yes, yes, I know him, this, this, blah, blah, blah. And she now narrated the whole thing that happened to him and all she said to me. And that one was like, that's what we've been complaining about you. The person you think is not learned at all has a master's degree. You can imagine. And she was like, what? She was like, what? And everything. And basically, I had a master's degree in uh, I have a master's degree in oil and gas management, but I chose not to follow that part. I worked in the industry for a couple of years, yeah. you know, but I see photography more of a passion 
you know, something I really love doing. You know, even if I'm not feeling too well, once I'm holding a camera, at that moment, I'm fine. Yeah. There's a saying that, when, at that you, when you choose what you love, you enjoy it better than when you just have yeah, to Yeah, ex ex exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, which is the reason, the more reason why I chose this part, because when I'm working, I say, like, I'm playing. I'm yeah. having fun. That's how I say it. Which so that's kept me going, me. you know, which is not just all about money. And coming back to that, a lot of my friends that are really employed, you know, even in the oil and gas field and everything, you know, when they see what you, 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 you charge and everything, they'll be like, wow, you guys are really making decent money in this field as well and everything. So, but the people who are up to date about photography, they understand what it entails, you know. So yeah. that's just the height of disrespect that I've seen that in think, this field. Yeah, yeah in, in, in this field. So and how do you deal oh, with um, pricing? Cost pricing, you know, when you give people some prizes, they'll probably just say, what are you doing? Yes. You're just taking a picture. What's <laughs> special about it? Why do you have to pay so much? Man, that one is another one, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> that one is another one. Like, uh, something projects, like, um, they're doing probably three hours um, job. You know, they want to contract me for three hours. And I tell them, okay, that three hours is, I'm going to charge 250 for the three hours. And they'll be like, what? 350 for for a three hours job even doctors don't end up to that oh my god <laughs> and i'll just tell them listen that three hours i'm going to spend with you i'm going to spend at least times four of the hours editing editing those pictures the footage the pictures that i took so have you factored that in who is going to pay for those hours if I want to, you know, I'm going to pay my accountants, I'm going to do marketing. That's a whole lot that's involved. There's taxes that is going to come out of it. You know, a whole lot of things involved in all these things. You know, if I had to go on and on and on, it's going to look like a rat. Yeah. And I don't want it to look like a, like, like a rat, actually. You know, but people, uh, people don't really understand all these things, that these are things that you go through. Even if you consider working as a cleaner the minimum you're going to earn at least you earn some uh, minimum wage yeah to minimum get me wage. and you're just going there just by yourself but now consider um, a photographer a videographer coming to an event they're going to um, film you or take your photograph with equipment worth thousands of pounds yeah yeah that aside they are going to do a whole lot of things again, you know, editing, uh, they're going to pay taxes, they're going to pay accountants who is going to sort, sort their papers, you know, a whole lot of things that is involved. So it's yeah. not just that the, the photographer is just trying I did a project about um, two years ago, one minute video, one minute video cost seven grand. Seven thousand pounds for a movie wow. video because of what and what is involved on the video. Yeah, you know, but people are uh, people don't really understand it, so they just like seven thousand for a minute video. Yeah. You know, what are we doing? But, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> but when you understand that that one minute video took us about a week. Wow. About a week to do. About one week for just a minute video. So I do know that. So um, those are. The, okay, go on, go on. So those are the things we we'll face, and and I just most times I need to start educating my clients about the reason why we have to charge yeah, that much yeah. and everything we have to bring crews together there are some videos that require some um technicals to, um, technicians to come on board like 
audio at times we need to bring in audio guys who is going to do the, the special audio at times you need to do some graphics animations you know which you need to be bring people who are who have it as their specifics you know that's what they deal with 24 7 so you know all those things is going to cost money sure. we are going to do uh insurance on what we, we are doing, public liability insurance, you know, insurance on your equipment. So all those things, it's a whole lot of money. Yeah. I understand that technical proficiency is really important when it comes to jobs like yours in photography. Mm. How do you deal with the changing trends? Because I know today there's a new camera in town that is, you know, is making mm. all the rave. And then how do you cope with this changing trends? Okay. Okay, if I I will approach that in two ways. Okay. First of all, photography, uh, media production in general, it's not really about the camera or the gear you have. Okay, it's about the person behind it. So if you give if you give today's camera, a camera made in twenty twenty to a so someone that doesn't really know much about photography and you give a professional a camera that was made 10 years ago, I bet it will give. The professional will deliver a better job. Okay. So it's not just about the camera. You need to understand what you're doing with the camera before you say, okay, I want to go buy this and buy that, you know, then fine. The cameras, you know, they are more advanced year in, year out, you know, but it's not necessarily about the gear. So that said, I'm going to buy all, buy all this um, gear as well, which is important, as you know, because yeah. you have to keep up with technology or else yeah. technology is just going to leave you behind. True. So like, like, like this. A video switcher that I'm using right now, you okay. know, this is technology, you know, so if you don't keep up with it, then you're just going to be left behind. So, but all these things, they are expensive. They are expensive. All these things, very, very expensive. Like this small units that you are seeing is about four grand. Wow. For this small unit. So people don't understand that. So cameras, imagine a photographer will, will come out, you know, you hold a camera like that, which is going to come with different lenses that you need to change lenses at times, you know. So when all this, when you come to events with all this, people will just see you holding cameras. Mm -hmm. They'll just see you holding lenses. They won't know that these are expensive piece of gear. You know, they are expensive. Like this one, when this one came out, I bought this, the body only, which is this, this on its own for about 1,500 pounds. Wow. This, this lens, this one for about 300 pounds, this one. Meanwhile, there are some lenses that are even more expensive than that. even the body on its own. So some lenses, are like over a thousand pounds, over two thousand wow. pounds, you know, just for lens, for a lens. Wow. You know, so all those are what you bring into um, the events just to cover it. But people don't really understand um, the essence of it. So photography so, for you, is it a part-time job or is it a full-time job for you? Yeah, I do it full-time, you know. Okay. I do it full time, although it, it cuts, um, I mix it up with uh, marketing because uh, wow. I do social media marketing for SMEs. So I create contents for them as well. For social so, media, yeah. So, but photography is still a tool in that Yeah, field. in doing that as well. Yeah, so, so I will say it's a full time thing because the yeah. way I make my money, everything is connected to and media production. Yeah, someone said there should be a package for those that are struggling. 
<laughs> so just put that there on Instagram. <laughs> well, when you say struggling, I, I, I don't understand the de definition of struggling. Because yeah, so blessings actually. follow me. What do you mean by struggling? It doesn't get you. And um, for everyone um, on this show today, we have uh, you have an for the raffle draw. You can win two people can win one hour um, photo photo shoot with DG Shot Media and for you to win that you have to comment you have to comment on the show to win you have to make comments to win so DG Shot can you please yes. show us some of your work some of your best work so people can see what they stand to get okay um, okay I'll take you to my website okay and that is www.dgshot.com. Yes, yes. So that's my website. Um, wow. Can you all see this screen? Yeah. Wow. Uh, for for those on Instagram, um, we are because I can't really show you what I'm showing, and um, people on Facebook on the screen. So oh, okay. we are presently reviewing what um, DigiShot Media has done through our website. So you can log on to... You can go to www.digishot.com to, 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 to view uh, our portfolio. So you see a couple of pictures about weddings, yeah. Uh, you see pictures on projects and products for SMEs as well. Oh my God, so this is really beautiful. Like, um, yeah, which one are you saying? Is this? Yeah, the one, the one in the water. Like she's just like a goddess. Not that one. Oh, in the water, right? Okay, yeah, so the that's a project. That's a pro. Okay, I'll, I'll take it down then. So that's a project I did for an organization in Coventry as part of the preparation for the City of Culture, because Coventry will be hosting the City of Culture in 2021. I just hope, uh, I just hope the pandemic is COVID is not going to stop there, yeah. actually. So yeah, so yes, yes. I just hope uh, it's not going to stop them. Yeah, it so, looks really, really pretty. So yeah, so this is uh, the project is about showcasing African culture. Yeah. So this um, the the lady in the middle is actually representing um, an Oshun priestess. Yeah, Oshun. Oshun is a goddess in Yoruba land and I think a lot of people know Oshun all over the world. Yeah. So so she's representing a goddess, um, a priestess of Oshun. So and the small girl, the little girl beside her is uh, representing um Aruba, they call it Aruba Yoruba land. Uh, Iba is a calabash like what she's holding on her head. So um, that is what I'm glad, uh, that's what they do. So this is a project for um, the black community in Coventry towards the City of Culture 2021. Wow, that looks really beautiful. So people, we have been talking to DG Shop Media and right now is showing us some of his, his beautiful walks. If you can, it's not really showing on Instagram, but it's, it's showing more on Facebook. All right, there's someone online right now. The person who has a question on Instagram, that what's the difference between the lenses, 1K and 2K? He says, what's the difference between lens 1K and 2K? I have no idea what that means. I, I don't understand what that person means by lens 1K. Or 2K. Is that what is the, is the person trying to talk about? 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I was saying, okay, okay, I think I get what the person is trying to say that um, I was saying some lenses are over a thousand um, in post. Oh, over, over a thousand, yeah. Yes, yes. So basically, lenses is just like the eyes of the camera. So, and we have different kind of lenses. I will show you a couple of lenses. Uh, okay. To bring it down so, it so like this one right now is um yes so this right now it shows 85 yes that's 85 mm f 1.8 lens as it is so that is a lens that we use for portraits so and they um the folk uh, the the fast the fastest is in go is 1.8 is f 1.8 so and we have some other lenses at the same focal length it's 5 mm that can go to 1.2 so that 1.2 has a wider aperture so it's going to open taking more light then it's going to blur your background more than 1.8 so that can come at times five times six the cost of the 1.8. Okay. I don't know if, if you understand what I mean. So the lenses, you need to understand the technicality behind lenses. Behind the... Yes, before you know what I'm talking about. I wanted to show you another one. And let me see. Okay. I think. Okay, I think I've got one here that's on the camera. That one goes for um, 1.4, 35 mm. That is wider. It shows, you know, the background or the environment where you are in. So it's more of an environmental picture lens. Yeah. So it is wider. You know, it shows more of the environment of where you are. So there are various lenses for various purposes. So, and the faster they are, the more expensive they become. So when I say fast, means the amount of light they let in. So when you see F1.2, that lets in a whole lot of light, you know, and it progresses further and, you know, on and on like that. So, yeah, someone is asking, what about wedding package for someone in Nigeria? Yes, um, we have we have an outfit in Nigeria as well, you know, okay. which is managed by by Mr. Kule Ojelade. So um, he actually is the country director of DigiShots in Nigeria. So anything in Nigeria, we cover we do everything. We have packages for people in Nigeria, starting from as low as 150,000 naira. Yeah. So our prices are pocket friendly. So it depends so, on what you're doing. So, and we travel everywhere. You know, I've gone to work in the US. I've done some work in Germany. I've done some work in some other European countries and in Africa as well. So. And oh, Gigi Shot is available um, anywhere point, in the world. Anywhere. So, and there was some point that we are on contract with Save the Children. We document all their projects all over oh, nice. Nigeria, you know, for a couple of years. So, okay, remember everyone, you have to time. comment to win on the show today. And we've been talking to DG Shot Media. And DG Shot Media is his website for you to view some of his photos uh, or www.dgshot.com if you want to view some of his work to see the quality i can see some of it here if you're on facebook i'm sure you can see this as well and uh you're available for the raffle draw you can win two people are available two people can win an hour present um an hour photo shoot i keep saying presentation <laughs> an hour photo shoot so DJ Shot, this photo shoot that you're giving away today, what what normally, what normally would it, will it cost? If someone was saying, oh, I want an hour photo shoot with you as an individual, what will it cost? How much is it gonna cost? 
Hello. Hello. Yeah. And our photo shoots will cost the package costs uh, one hundred and fifty pounds. One hundred and fifty pounds. Can you hear me? hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. So, guys, you're about to win a photo shoot worth a hundred and fifty. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Yes. For the one hour package. Yeah. Yeah. So can you show can you show us more work? Okay. Yeah. Remember, guys, you have to comment to win. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I said that it costs a hundred. Yeah, go on. Okay. Um so I'll show you a couple of work. So this is a, a fashion um, photography shoot. You know, this was done in the studio as well. So with the theme, and so that's that's an example. And we do all sorts. So this is uh, for a wedding. Wow. Can you see this? Oh my God, I can see that. I can see that, that is really, really beautiful. Yenti. Yeah, I can see it. So for those on Instagram, this is what I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show, um, samples of what we've done so this is for wedding yes yeah i can see that it is beautiful okay and someone vanny mo on instagram so this is samples of what we've, we've great done. work and look at that as well that's a birthday shoot outdoor, which is on outdoor. So, someone says, Where is your location in Nigeria? Yes. And I'll show you some that are done in Nigeria. So, um, yeah, so we have an idea. Because I am so in Nigeria, we have a studio in Ibadan and we have in Shagamu in the state. Yes, okay. but we go everywhere in Lagos. You know, we work in Lagos. You know, most times we work in Lagos anyway. So, and this is for the fashion. Um, for the pageantry in Hall. Hall. In Hall City. So this is um, actually powered by um, Afro Fashions in Hall. You know, this is a pageantry that is done every year and we are always present to document it. So lovely outfits. And we make sure we document those into memories for you. And uh, okay, this one is done in Liverpool, you know, as part of Pace Setters uh, business exhibition as well. Yeah. So it's a pageantry, we document um, all the memories. 
So, a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. You know, just visit uh, Instagram page or yeah. our websites. I can't see things. Then you'll be able to see a whole lot of what we've done. Who are interested in going into photography and video productions? You know, we train them. Yeah. So, can you no. see me? Can you see what I'm showing? Yeah, I can see that. Yeti, are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. I can see you. Okay. So, um, what advice do you have for people when they need to choose a professional for their events? Like, what's the best thing they need to look at before they? Because it's it's so unfortunate that sometimes it's happened to me before, right here in Liverpool that um, I had to do a photo shoot for my birthday. And the guy that I got, it okay. was all, all there. And when he came on the day, guess what? It, he said he didn't have a, a laptop and he had to use a phone to edit my pictures. And he ended in tears. He ended in major tears. And it got so ugly that I had to get my money back and, you know, because the pictures were not things to write on, but I couldn't really use them because everyone was like, did you take these pictures with your phone? I'm like, no, I did not. And if I had taken it with my phone, it would have made more sense. So what, what do you, what, what's your advice for people and what to do? Like, what not to do when choosing photographers? Right, um, before I go into the advice, I would like to tell people about the importance of having good hands to duck, you know, first thing, especially people can afford to spend anything on the, the, the food we're going to share that day, the drinks, you know, yeah. and, you know. So please exit sharing. But when it comes to photo You're still sharing on here. for those, and, yeah, okay. and I tell people, okay. Yeah, yeah. go on. Yeah, right, okay, right. So um, most people, we can afford to spend money on food. We can uh, afford to spend money on the drinks and everything. But when it comes to the people who are going to document the whole thing, the moments, the, the, the aesthetics, yeah. Everything around that surrounds and um, the parties, the event, the special moment that we have, we suddenly won't have budgets for that. And I ask them, the food you spend thousands of pounds on is going to finish. Mm -hmm. You know, by the end of that day, it's gone. You don't have memories of it again. The 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 drinks. People will drink, if you serve alcohol, they will drink it, they get drunk, that's the end of it. No more. The only thing that is going to be available for you to watch and watch and watch over and over again, you suddenly don't have budget for it. Sure. You know, I'm just like, really? Do you, do you really think about what you're doing? Because when you have good pictures, good videos, <clears throat> documented into memories for you, Let's say you are celebrating, you are having your wedding, you know, probably at the age of 25. By the time you are your 50th, your children can 
bring out this, bring back memories, you know. But when you don't have all those, what do you have to remind yourself about, you know, things that are past already in your life? So those things are really, really important. It is not something you should be willing to compromise on. Yeah. At any time, you shouldn't be willing to compromise on that. It is very, very important. You know, imagine on your 7th birthday, your children, they bring out your wedding pictures, you know, showcasing it on a light, uh, on a big screen for the guests to see. You, you'll be happy to see, you know, it will bring back a lot of memories into you and you'll be really happy. But if you don't have it, all those foods, all those drinks that you have bought, they're never going to bring back the memories into your head. So that is why it is important to have a professional to document your special moments for you. So that said, that takes me to the second uh, note about um, people getting the right um, photographer or videographer to, to, to document their memories. A lot of us, you hear, oh, I've got a sister who has a camera. <laughs> yeah. She's going to take the pictures for me. And you'll be like, okay. Then in the end, yeah. they'll still come back to mourn about it. You think it's just about the camera. No. Like I said earlier, it's not just about the camera. It's about the person behind that camera. You know, there are moments photo good photographers who would have anticipated that yeah. this and this and this will happen. They are ready on ground, you know, ready to take that shot. Some random person cannot, they won't get all those moments, you know, which are, those are the essence of you getting a professional to handle your, your program for you. But if you don't have those available, then you just have some random pictures. It will just come pictures that are not actually telling stories. That is what you have. Yeah. And when it's not telling stories, then what what makes what what, what is that? It's no longer a picture. Yeah. It's just an image. It's just an image because there, there is no story attached to that picture. So, but when you have professionals, they will make sure you have a very good story about your image documented into memories. So thank you very much, Didi Shah. Um, what about, we want you to talk about pace setters. What, what, as, what, is, what is pace setters to you? Uh, pace setters have been working with the organization for a couple of years now. Yeah. You know, and I see pace setters as an organization that is promoting um, SMEs within the community, most especially the Black communities. Yeah, because, uh, black communities, um, we are really behind True. compared to other communities, you know, and I see PlaySetters as a group that is trying to, you know, bring us together again, you Even know, so that people can, un can understand the reason why we need to actually patronize each other, one another, so to say. So, because if you look at other communities, from my experience here, um, the the Caucasians they prefer to to support their own. True. You know, you only see very few that will say, "Okay, let's come to the people of color." You know, so um, there is a very um, there is necessity for us to start to have a rethink. And I don't blame people. I understand where people come from because most of us, we don't have, um, we, we, we don't have, we have not built the trust. Number one, we have not built the trust. And the ease of doing business, we've not built it. You know, you can imagine a photographer giving you, okay, because it is you, I'll give you, I'll do that job for 50 pounds. Yeah. Then you see someone, because that person is um, seen as a rich person, you now charge that person that maybe more. times five, you know? So there's no 
trust, there is dishonesty. Yeah. And people will look at it like, no, 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 I'm not having this. So they prefer to go elsewhere. There is no ease of doing business within the yeah. community. So people need to make it easy, you know, for people to understand how it works, you know, and they make sure that goes across every client they have on board, you know, so that it's not um, maybe it's not crooked with someone straight with another, you know, mm -hmm. everybody make them to have, you know, seamless experience when they are dealing with you in business. So, which is what people really appreciate. So a lot of black um, businesses, that is what we lack. Mm -hmm. And that is what we really need to focus on. And that is how business, um, digital media is approaching business. I make sure all my clients, we, they have ease of doing business with me. And there's this trust about, okay, what is going to deliver is going to deliver this and that. You know, we all have that understanding right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, so then another thing, going back to the customers as well. A black person will walk into another black person's business and you will see this thing goes for 50 pounds. You understand that fine, that that thing is worth 50 pounds. But because it's a black business, you want to price it down to 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you walk into a Caucasian shop, they will sell that same thing for 70 pounds. You, you will not price it. it. Mm -hmm. So all those things, the black community, that has kept us at the bottom of the pyramid. So everyone needs to, you know, sit right and let's start building the, the community again, which yeah. is why I, I appreciate Pacetas. They are doing a fantastic work in trying to reorientate all of us about this. Yeah. So um, everyone, we've been talking to DJ Shop and to view their wonderful pictures, please go to www.dgshot.com. They've been talking to us about uh, photography, videography, and they're available in any country in the world. So if you want to book them for events in Nigeria, they've got a branch in Nigeria. And if you want to book them for businesses anywhere in the world, they're available to travel. And they've been talking to us about equipment and and so many things they face in doing the business. And today they have given us two slots for anyone who wins the raffle, two people to win an hour photo shoot, photo session, that's correct. Two hours and it is, it is normally, it normally will cost you 150 pounds. So that is good money. Can my name please be added please? Cause I need to win as well because I'm not gonna be doing all this talk for nothing. All right, thank you very much, DG Shot. Are we ready with our raffle yet? I'm going to read some of the questions and see if anyone has asked any questions. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, Miss Kemi, Kemi, Kemi Quinn is one minute. What What's the camera you can prescribe for a business starter to own? That's what she's asking. Right. Okay. Yeah, with that, uh, it depends on what you're using the camera for. You know, if you are, I don't know if you're going to be using it for just pictures. I don't know if you're just going to be using, using it for videos and stuff like that. But um, I want to say, okay, probably because nowadays the cameras we have nowadays are, um, you use it 50 50 pictures and video. So let me just say, as an, um, I, you are talking about hybrid camera that you can use for pictures and video. So if that's what you're looking at for yeah. business startup, I, I believe for business startups, you just want to be using it to create content for your business. So I'm not talking about using it for sports, photography and stuff like that. So I'm yeah. just going to advise you based on, you know, being a content creator for businesses. So I'll suggest a couple of uh, cameras. There is a, a Canon EOS M50, which is a very good camera. It's made by Canon. Canon is a mirrorless camera, 
you can use it for pictures or you can use it for video you can connect external cameras and uh, microphones to it mm -hmm. to get a very good audio you know for what you do and it's not um, that expensive you should be able to get with the kit lens for around 500 pounds so which is a good one there's canon 200d as well that's a dslr camera it, it, it does pretty, uh, pretty much like uh, the canon m50 you have the um, fujifilm xt2 as well a whole lot of cameras you know i've been able to talk about three now yes yeah Thank you very much, DJ Shot. And before we start our raffle, I'm just going to talk about my wig for a minute. My wonderful braid wig okay. is by Tammy's Hair Before She Kills Me. I'm loving this wig. Can I have it for free? Thank you. <laughs> so we're now getting ready for the raffle. And raffle, are we ready yet? So okay. how, do, how do people enter for the raffle? Please? Oh, uh, because we're doing it with um, how many people have commented. So people that comment, right, people okay. have commented like loads. So we're using, we are using the names of people that have commented. So we're not just going to pull up names of people viewing. It's people that comment on the show. And they know that already. And you stand to win two slots for two people stand to win one hour photo session with DJ Shot then this is priced at so this is priced at um 150 pounds and you get it for free just for commenting how beautiful is that so did you show do you have any other thing you need to tell us that we've not touched in any way um well basically i just um, want to implore people to to support digital media um we have very good deals for practically everything that we do, you know, okay. and our prices are pocket friendly. We're not going to tear your pockets. <laughs> so, well, we yeah. don't compromise on quality as well. So just give us a try and I'm sure a try is going to convince you. Yeah, so people don't be scared about the seven grand one you talked about. That one is just for, uh, that's for something else entirely. <laughs> that's not an individual a photo session yeah. or an event. So if you have events, if you need photo shoots, if you have birthdays, any celebration, he has got pocket friendly prizes. So talk to him, uh, go to digishot.com. He's on Facebook, he's on Instagram. He's, where else are you? Facebook, Instagram. He's on Twitter as well. So, ggshot.com. Check out his work. I've seen some of it. I'm sure if you're on Facebook and you can see them, you can see how beautiful they look. And the most important thing about your event is you don't want to cry at the end of the day because the event is gone. Now you need the memories. And to keep a good memory, you need to make sure you contact a professional that knows his job. Now you can see he's got an MSc in oil and gas. So he's not just... An uneducated, an uneducated uh, photographer is got the beauty, it's got the brains, it's got the brown, it's got everything. So, thank you very much, Mr. Bimbola George. And now it's time for our raffle, 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 raffle. This is the part that I love, except that my name is never in it, which is not nice. We need to do this again. So, for one photo shoot for the Jolly Ayo. As... <laughs> okay, Jolly Ayo, we need you not to win anymore on this show. <laughs> <laughs> she won like two weeks ago. Really? So Jolly Ayo, Itunu, you have won an hour free photo, photo session with DJ Shot. Please take me along with you so we can post together. And for the second person, I need to shake it well. For the second person is, okay, I cannot pronounce it. Eskise is, 
it's I don't know what that is. Esquisa is something. I think that's an Instagram uh, username. But anyway, you've won a photo session with DG Shop Media. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming to this live show. Thank you very much, DG Shop. It's Thank great to have you. Me. It's great to have you on here. And please don't forget. Uh, don't forget everyone www.dgshop.com and if you love this beautiful brave week of mine <laughs> if you love this beautiful brave week of mine it is from Timmy's hair so eat up Timmy's hair www.timmyshair.com thank you guys for coming bye see you next week thank you bye